I am Sreya Timelsina. I am a senior electrical design engineer at Renewer. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a backnet fan controller to one of our ERV units. The backnet fan controller is a simple wall mount device that can be mounted by the unit or on a standard junction box. The backnet fan controller can turn the unit on and off when these three conditions are met. First, it has a user keypad. Second, it has an ability to be commanded by BMS if that feature is enabled. And last, it has a dry contact digital input for an interlock that can be used with any interlock device like smoke detector, air handling interlock, or occupancy sensor, and so on. In order to get to the terminals, you're going to have to take out the set screw on the bottom of the controller and take the back off. Now let's go take a closer look at the terminals. On the inside, there are three dip switches. Make sure JP1 is in run position, JP2 is in AO1 position, and JP3 is in none position. The backnet fan controller takes 24 BAC power between terminal 1 and terminal 2. It also has two digital output pin at terminal 4 and terminal 5 for BO1 and BO2 to enable the fans. And it has two analog output pin at terminal 10 and terminal 11 to supply the 0 to 10 volt signal to each of those fans. You can power your interlock devices in terminal 13 and terminal 14. If you do not have any devices to use as an interlock, make sure to jump board those pins together. For this demo, I'm going to be using a toggle switch between terminal 13 and terminal 14. In order to show you the wires and explain the functionality better, I am going to be taking a separate ERV board. On the left side here, there are four wires. The red is 24 volt, the black wire is COM, yellow wire is EN, and then the purple wire is VAR. The red and black wire are going to be supplying the power to the backnet fan controller. Make sure the connection between the EN and COM is close to enable the unit, and then the connection between BAR and COM is close in order to supply that 0 to 10 volt signal to the fans. On the right side here, there are two potentiometer, which are typically used to adjust the 0 to 10 volt signal to each of those fans that we have in our unit. But since we're going to be using the backnet fan controller, we no longer need the potentiometer, so you can cut them off and cap off the orange wires. Here is a wiring diagram to show you the connection from the board to the backnet fan controller. Make sure to connect terminal 1 and terminal 3 so all the commons are connected together in the controller. The purple wires are ground and can be connected together. The yellow wire from supply fan now can be connected to AO1 which is terminal 10 and then the yellow wire from exit fan can now be connected to AO2 which is terminal 11 in the backnet fan controller. Here I have a ERB with the junction box located here. Next, I'm going to show you a unit in operation. Here I have my backnet fan controller wired up to my unit and I have turned the power on. The user keypad has four buttons. To change the user setting, press the heat cool icon once to see the setting and then press it the second time to change it. So I'm going to turn it on here. After a short timeout, the display will go back to the main screen. You should now see a letter A appear in the bottom left corner here. This just indicates that the unit has been turned on by the user. On the upper right corner here, there's a warning sign. This just indicates that my interlock device has not been activated yet. Since I'm using a toggle switch, I'm going to turn it on, and that should make another letter A appear in the bottom right corner, which indicates that now my interlock device has been activated. So now I'm going to turn my toggle switch on, and you should see a letter A appear on the screen. Next, we're going to see the fan speed. In order to see the fan speed setting, press the fan button once. Use the up and down arrows to toggle between the supply fan and exhaust fan. Press the fan icon until you see the value blink to change the value to your desired number. So for this example, I'm going to set the supply speed to 6 volt. Press the fan icon again to save the value. And I should now see my fan adjust to that speed that I just specified. Similarly, for exhaust speed, press the fan button until you see the value blinking. Use up and down arrows to change the value. For this example, I'm going to set it to 3 volts. Press the fan icon to save the value. And I can now see my exhaust fan change its speed. The fans are now running at the speed that I set at the user keypad. 
I'm gonna now turn the unit off. Congratulations, you have now completed the standalone operation using the user keypad. To connect using BACnet, please see our video on setting up for BACnet operations.